Previously I talked about Ulite and Tasker, and I promise I'm gonna um, talk about uh, this in integration with Raspberry Pi. And the good news is I've got something uh, working already, and I wanted to well, show you what I did. Basically, do you remember these? Yeah, the Amazon Dash buttons, you probably remember these. I've linked one of these to this. So here how it works and uh, well, what can you expect from it. The e light is ready and I've set it to nice a dim blue color so it wouldn't disturb the camera too much. And the Amazon Dash button is ready as well. So when I press the button, the light should activate within four seconds because that's how long it takes. Excellent. And also the same uh, can be done a few seconds later and once the dash button turns off, uh, to turn the uh, light off. So when I press it again, within the next four seconds, the light will uh, turn off. Excellent. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm in the middle of writing actual tutorial. Uh, I just still need to clean up the code a little bit because it's a little bit clunky by my standards and you deserve something better. So expect a tutorial soon. And as usual, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, do follow me on social media. Uh, etc. You know where to find me, subscribe to my channel, get notified about my videos and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye! Hey, now my turn. this is not enough tech. Not Cortana. <laughs> no. Go away. So, I think I've got every... Yeah. I think I've got everything ready for that neat presentation. I've got a dash pump button. Dash pump. Da what is dash pump? <laughs> Four seconds approximately for this light to turn on. Excellent. Now, there's another trick, because when I press it again, it works as a toggle. So say four seconds later, we should have it turn it off. Did I press it? Probably. Excellent. And that's not the whole story, because when